couch Dogs need the lessons Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff in which I'm gonna blow your mind because you can create a full composition from just one note, okay? Let's take three on the second fret, okay? A D note, okay? And the secret to this is that there's way more ways to harmonize one note than you can think of uh, at a given moment, okay? Because one note is a world of music. Okay, let's start with, okay, this is a D note, so let's start with D. Okay, and then of course you can go to C add 9, okay? Okay, natural chords, okay? Chords we're all used to playing, okay? C add 9, C with 3 on the second string. And then obviously if we're playing C add 9, we're playing G. But that's not what I mean. I mean chords like... Okay, which is three, three, two, three on strings two to five, or B sharp nine. Okay, to create interest. Okay, B uh, sharp nine is B seven with three on the second string, and then you can play E seven. Okay, which is E with three on the second string, and we're only getting started. And then you can play A sus4, which is A with 3 on the 2nd string. Instead of going back to D, put 3 on the 5th string, the C bass again. And now you have a bossa nova kind of chord. And it's C6-9. Strings 2-5, to five, you have 3-2-2-3 three, two, two, three now. If you've been paying attention, we played this note with three different C chords. We played it with C add 9, we played it with C 9, okay, which also has the 7th in it, and we played it with C 6 9. All three are very, very different chords. These are different chords. That B sharp 9 again. And then you can go to. Okay? You can put an F chord, okay, or F major 7, with the open E string with 3 on the second string. And this okay, becomes either F6, this is an F6 chord, but this is also D minor. This is also an inversion of D minor. You hear it? It's D minor. Okay? So we changed it from D to D minor, okay? But in a very sophisticated way because we led to it. E7, A, sus4, and then C6, 9. And then suddenly the D minor worked instead of D, which we started with. And now let's complicate it even more. Okay, but I want to play it one more time. Okay, with the E string, the open E string works. Sorry, still the same note, G minor. Okay, and then we start with weird shapes. Okay, so G minor is uh, three, 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 and five. Okay, now what's going on here? This is the same six nine chord. But this is now F six nine, so it's three three two three, but on strings one to four. Okay? Let's see 
what happens. Ah, oh, right. It's back to E7. I was trying to be a smart ass and I landed back where I started. So you can you can go back to G minor, but you can do you can do G minor over D now. You can play three 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 with the open D string, okay? Because you have you have D inside G minor, so it's possible. Sus form. And now it's gonna take some effort, but we can do it. Okay? We can do an augmented chord. We can do D augmented or F sharp um, flat 13, which is an augmented chord. It's it's another sh another form of augmented chord. So it's 332 on strings 2, 3, and Four, but with two on the sixth string. Now it's F sharp flat thirteen. Okay? But we're not done because you have the B half diminished chord or the B diminished chord. Okay, so let's try both. B half diminished is three two three two on strings one two five, and B diminished is 3 1 3 2 okay so if we go back G minor this is uh, F uh, 6 9 G minor over D F sharp flat 13 diminished or B minor 7 flat 5 B uh, diminished B flat okay you can play B flat or B flat 7 and now I'm kind of in trouble but not really because I can play a major 7 chord you see, you, nothing intuitive about it. It's just technical, but it's it's also musical. So bar on three with five and six on strings four and five, and you have okay, you have a major seven chord. And now I'm starting to kind of lose it, uh, but not not really. If we move to jazz chord, okay, which we did already, okay, this is um, this is uh, yeah. Was it add? It's add eleven. It's G sharp add eleven. Okay, or G sharp eleven actually, because it has the seventh. It's. It's another option. I'm exhausting the options. That's what the lesson is about. I'm proving that one note can make a full composition or even four compositions by now. Uh, so three, five, four on strings two, three, and four with four on the sixth man. You can do A, A add fl A flat 11. By taking the chord shape up one fret to A7, okay, with three on the second string. So you can do both. Okay, so let's do it. We were at E flat. Okay, let's go back to the diminished chord. B half diminished. B dim, diminished. B7, B flat seven. flat major 7 and then G sharp um, G sharp 11 A 
flat 11. And now I'm kind of in trouble. So let's see if I can get myself out of it. I have no idea what this chord is. I, I can calculate it, but it's E something. It's E minor 7 something. Oh, right. It's E minor 7. Add something. Okay, so I can do it like that. Okay, it's 3, 5, 5 on strings 2, 3, and 4 with the 6th string. What about this? Another inversion of a. It's a weird chord. And if I take it down one fret, it sounds nice. Now it's diminished again. And I'm starting to run out of ideas. G, G sus. Okay, it's G sus. G sus form. Still find a couple more. Okay, now. Um, okay, it's uh, D flat, flat nine. Uh, one last one. One last one. We already did the F six. Challenge. Will he be able to do it? Yeah. G sharp half diminished. And then you can do the the D flat flat 9. Now it works harmonically. I'm sorry, I don't remember the chords that I did before. how many chords they were but when I edit the video I'm gonna put a number here and tell you exactly how many chords there were so thank you very much for watching and um, I'll see you in the next lesson bye for now <laughs>